The much-anticipated 2014 Forester is here at University Subaru. Newly redesigned, inside and out, with sleek styling, symmetrical all-wheel drive, and maximum performance, plus now 32 miles per gallon. Join us for the Subaru Love Spring event going on now and see the all-new Forester. All-wheel, all-weather, all-wow. Available in mid-Missouri, only at University Subaru. The wise choice. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on this Monday, August the 19th. We're going to talk about traveling today. It's is still the, the uh, vacation time for some folks. Our, our next two segments we're going to uh, uh, talk about how you can save on money travel, on travel. And also next time cruise travel. Alone. Okay. Well, in case you haven't figured it out, I've got uh, Professor Mel Zelenek with us, retired uh, professor from the University of Missouri. Good to have you here. Great Mel. seeing you, Paul. Uh, so... We've got consumer and travel tips, but specifically today we're going to deal with... Uh, travel tips. In general. In general. And okay. And next time it'll be cruise tips. Um, last time we discussed uh, what the difference is between the best deal and the best value, if you remember. Mm -hmm. and Sometimes the best value, the actual best value is paying a little bit more than what you think the best deal is. Do you want to give me is. an example? It doesn't have to be travel, but... Uh, I'm not thinking off the top of my head right now, but I know I'm, I know that that is a fact. You can you can see something advertised, and maybe it's showing a lower price, but when you look at all the details, if you pay just a little bit more, you're actually getting a much better value. You've got to look. You've got to compare them side by side. Yeah, and 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 that's true. And also that differs with each consumer, and that's what we. Pointed out. Right, because what's important to one person may mean absolutely nothing to the next person. Right. So you just have to do your homework on it. Paul, we've known each other for at least 25 years, and both of us, frankly, are cheapskates. <laughs> okay. And we. I like to think of the word thrifty instead well, of cheapskate. Okay. But you're thrifty, I'm a cheapskate. And, but what we do is we enjoy the hunt, if you will. We enjoy the whole process. A lot of people don't. Yeah. And that's why you have to talk in terms of the deal and the value. Yeah. I, I know what you're talking about, Mel, because I'd love to get on and search for all the different uh, all the different fares that are available, uh -huh. the different prices for hotel rooms. And sometimes if you change your date by one day or two days, it can make a great big difference. Enormous. And that's going to be one of the things that we actually talk about uh, today. And let's start with some of these. And we're going to talk just in terms of tips here. Uh, as you just said, be as flexible as possible with your travel needs. Sometimes leaving a day early or later uh, can reduce travel costs by as much as 50% or yeah. more. Yeah, and same thing with the hotel rooms. Uh -huh. With the hotel room, you put in your, your start date and your, and your departure date, and a lot of those websites, the hotel websites, are going to give you the highest price uh, for the entire stay. But if you move it, a day forward or a day backward, you might end up saving 40 or $50 a That's day. right. Or even in that case, if, if you can't get the entire uh, trip at a lower price, parcel it out and do a couple reservations. Book it in segments, but, yeah. 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 Like, like you can do on a, on a crew, on a, uh, air, airfare, uh, as we've talked about before. And also with cruises, Paul, a lot of times with the cruises, you change, if you're flexible enough to change a week forward or a week back, you could save as much as two-thirds uh, on that specific cruise. But you've got to play with it a little bit. That's you correct. You have to play with it a little bit, and you also have to be flexible, if, if you can be flexible with the time. And you have to be patient, and that's another one of our tips here. And when I say patient, don't necessarily accept the first rate that you're seeing there. For example, out of Columbia, a lot of times, you'll see some flights over $1,000 to go to a specific venue. Well, if you look on other dates or if you come back later mm -hmm. uh, in the day or uh, the next day, sometimes that rate fluctuates. Oh, but by hundreds of dollars. I, I'm planning a trip in November, Mel, and I was looking on, on, the, on the website, and one day the fare seemed acceptable to me. 
but I thought it might come down a little bit more. I waited. The next day, it had gone up over $400. And I said, there's no way I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to book that. Later on that afternoon, I just checked again on a whim, and it had gone down $200. The next morning, I checked again, and it had gone down even further. I mean, they they change by the hours at times. Yeah, and actually, if you go on there too frequently, they're going to think there's a lot of activity. This has just been my experience. I don't have any documentation for this. But then they keep the fares high. So in that case, you wait a day or two, and then they see all of these people who were searching for this flight. It happened to be you in this case are no longer interested, so now they've dropped the fares again. Yeah, and I don't think it's, when you say they, I think they have what's called, the airlines have system load management. Ex that's what exactly it's called. what it's called. It's system load management, and I think the computers just do that automatically. They must have a price range that they can adjust back and forth. Yeah, yeah. It's wild. Cruise ships do the same thing. Cruise lines do the same thing. Hotels do the same thing as well. Um, Avoid emotional buying as much as possible is another tip. And they do have fantastic marketing and advertising. I spoke with two other uh, uh, guests recently, and they were saying their dream cruise for their kiddos is a Disney cruise. Well, my personal view is that's not a very good buy or a very good value. They're terribly overpriced. Their ships are generally a, a bit older than some of the others. And I think if people shopped around, they'd find a better experience or at least a comparable experience with a cruise line like Royal Caribbean, for example. They also have a lot of things for kiddos, and yet it's so much cheaper, generally speaking, than a Disney cruise. But people pay for that Disney name as they pay for Come to Jamaica, Mon. You know, and Jamaica is not necessarily but, the best uh, again, venue. We were talking about what's important to one person. Absolutely, may not be important to the other person. Absolutely. So it's it's what it's what you want. It, that's your value. And that's a fantastic point. I couldn't agree with you more. I'm just giving you my view. Right. Exactly. Now we're almost out of time here, Mel. Okay. Uh, beware of the high markup fees that they automatically add to your to your price of you, whatever service you're getting uh, without your consent. You know, do you know of any off the top of your head what I'm talking about no, here? No, I don't. Resort fees. Oh, the resort fees. Now, those are running rampant. And many of them are non-negotiable. They say, I'm sorry, that's the way it is. You've got to pay the resort fee or you don't stay here. But you might be able to negotiate something else like we'll give you an upgrade on your on your suite or on your mm -hmm. hotel room or, and, and so forth. Yeah, a lot of hotels now are uh, adding resort fees, and to me, that's just another way to increase the price of a room without saying it's an increase. If you want more information, what's your web, your uh, telephone number or website? Uh, cruise at CenturyTel.net, C-R-U-I-S-E right, -E at CenturyTel.net. And he'll answer any questions you have. Mel, thank you so much. Tomorrow, Missouri River Festival of the Arts and MU Healthcare. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, Audio, Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director is Rich Polzine, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. We'll see you tomorrow.